In the summer and fall of 2021, Born Free USA, working in partnership with Humane Society International and the Humane Society of the United States, commissioned an investigator to go undercover in the United States trapping industry. The investigator, whose identity is protected for their safety and anonymity, attended the National Trappers Association Convention in Iowa, as well as a state-sponsored trappers education course provided in partnership between the Iowa Department of Natural Resources and the Iowa Trappers Association. Through contacts made at these events, our investigator posed as a novice trapper and went out on trap lines with three trappers to witness trapping firsthand. What he saw, heard, and documented was harrowing and lays bare the true cruelty of trapping. Just as distressing, the material reveals the ways in which government officials help promote and facilitate trapping, tantamount to government-sanctioned animal cruelty. Trapping claims the lives of millions of animals in the United States each year. It is practiced throughout the country. Traps can be found on public, private, and even protected lands. Animals such as beavers, coyotes, foxes, raccoons, and skunks are commonly trapped, though they are by no means the only wild animals to suffer in traps. There are approximately 96,000 to 146,000 active trappers in the United States. They engage in trapping in order to procure animals fur in the name of nuisance wildlife control and simply for sport. Trapping laws and regulations are determined by each state meaning that the rules and enforcement of those rules vary dramatically from place to place. While our investigation was carried out in Iowa, the methods documented are consistent with trapping across the country. The practice frequently involves extreme animal suffering. It is time for a change. Only a ban on trapping will do. Traps are inherently cruel and often inflict pain and suffering. All of the trap types most commonly used by U.S. trappers, Connie bear traps, leg hold traps, and snares cause horrifying injuries. This was captured by our investigator during his time on trap lines with three veteran trappers. And uh, you want a trap that ain't gonna hurt their foot, but it, it does a good job on hanging on the coyote, I'm telling you. I even caught a coyote uh, two years ago. I caught a coyote by the bottom jaw. Oh, well, that was damn clue. I thought he wanted to come up there. I thought he was sick. I said, what the hell? That guy must be sick or something. I got up there and I said, oh, well, look at this. Had him by the bottom. The jaws were behind him, big teeth. And he wasn't going to go nowhere. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He stuck his nose in that dirt right on top of that on my pan or something. I don't know what, what he was thinking. Wired to a tree like that. Is that a? Is that kind of the plan to get them hanging there? Not really. I just forgot my stage. Sure. So snares does it normally kill them like that, or is it? Has a... Quite often it will kill the coyotes. Yeah. They get themselves wrapped up. Probably not sure. There you go, you got one on the line. Solid, there you go. Get a picture from my dad. <laughs> Let's go. Catch about here, shoot. Catch about here, shoot. Bad boy. Swagging arm there. Oh. As deadly as traps can be, 
Animals are not always killed instantly by them. Animals can languish in traps for hours or even days, suffering drowning, predation, exposure, shock, injury, or blood loss. Oh, they broke the arm. No, he broke his own arm. I'm a little tempted if it don't work. It's fresh. Well, probably killed this morning. Sometimes animals are still alive when trappers return to check their traps. What up here? So that's his back foot. Uh, his back toe. Okay. Got ripped off here. Yep. What follows is disturbing. The trappers brutally beat and shoot trapped animals in order to kill them. Sometimes the animals are discarded in the back of trucks still alive. Tragically, these are only a handful of such instances witnessed by our investigator. Is that about normal size for them? No, that's small. Yeah. like raccoons, foxes, coyotes, and beavers are the primary victims of trapping, domestic dogs and cats can also become trapping victims. Our investigator captured footage of a deceased cat mixed in among the remains of wild animals trapped by one of the trappers they had accompanied. Sadly, this is far from an isolated incident. One of the most disturbing aspects of trapping is that all of this cruelty and suffering is sanctioned, even promoted by government officials and state agencies. While at a state-sponsored trapping event, our investigator documented instances of state officials explaining loopholes around state trapping laws and otherwise promoting trapping. Are you allowed to shoot him? Uh, not with a shotgun. Like mink, muskrat, and beaver, I think are protected. You can't shoot with a shotgun. But uh, neighbors had him in his pond, destroying, plugging his culvert, so he's got a nice thermal on his uh, 17 cocoon call and hunting. So. I guess if it ain't legal, don't tell the DNR over here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know people about this. It's so illegal to shoot over water too, though, with a rifle. On your own pond? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the water. Huh. yeah don't tell them that. It ain't so much that the kid gets caught in the trap, yeah. because if that happens, you get a hold of the DNR, and the DNR comes out and tells the parents of the child, if you're going to try to sue him for damages that your kid did, then we're going to cite you for tampering with the traps. That oh, they could do that. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah so we DNR can be pages. on your side yeah. in instances like that. Interesting. As a licensed trapper, you're restricted to taking no more than three body counts. So I get the question all the time, you know, I got a son trapping with me or my daughter goes with me. They're active participating in 
that gun, they're entitled to if they're licensed to pay free as well. So there are some things that are part of several cats and several hours. You have that opportunity to do that as long as everybody's licensed. I think the country's ready. I think the trapping community is ready, and we're certainly ready to go. I probably shouldn't say this on the tape, but one of the New Mexico people said, I may lose this battle, but there's going to be a hell of a pile of grass around me when it's all over. That's what he said. And that's the attitude. That's the attitude. That's the attitude I don't want to hear. I'm ready for that. I, I'm at that same point. So our next step becomes, where do we get the bullets? The trapping industry claims that trapping is humane, part of a long and important heritage, and requires respect for animals and the environment. But does this look like humane treatment and respect to you? And I was bow hunting one fall, um, and I shot a buck. I was a night sit. I shot a buck. It was a liver hit, so I let him sit. I came back in the morning tracking, and um, I kicked something off. I didn't know. I, you know, I thought just more deer. I finally recovered the buck, and his whole like back end and everything was eaten by coyotes. Um, and I was really mad about it, you know, just like like mad because I was so excited about this venison and everything. And single mom at the time, it was just a like I was just really vengeful. And a friend of mine was a trap rod instructor, so why don't you try trapping them? Me? Um, well, I I use a bat. It's just what I you know we can't shoot our fisher otter, you know, beaver, and so for me it's just easier using the bat. Um, but you can, yeah, you can just use a 22. Even if followed to the letter, simply putting regulations and requirements in place is not sufficient. The only way to protect animals from this suffering is to ban trapping outright. My mom's like, animals have feelings and they feel pain too. You know? Sucks to be the animal. You can help take action against cruel trapping. Visit bornfreeusa.org forward slash trapping exposed for ways you can get involved and help put an end to this cruelty. Please act now. The animals need us.